I love this. This is the microwave corn popper. And you just throw your kernels in here. No butter, no oil. It's got a little rubber top here. Look at that. And uh, you just pour the kernels in. There's instructions inside. I'm going to read that in a second. But uh, that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to tell you if this is worth getting. I found this at the... Uh, well, I didn't find this. Uh, the Lakeside Collection people sent it to me with a nice letter. And they wanted me to review it. So I'm uh, pretty excited about it. Lakeside Collection will let you know if, uh, if it works. The butter melting lid allows you to melt butter and margarine as corn is popping for... Okay, that's pretty cool. Come, come in close. I got to show you this. Look at this lid here. It's a silicone lid. And they tell you that if you want butter, put your butter up here like a half a stick of butter. And as this microwave and pop, 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 the butter drips through. That's kind of cool. Uh, I'm not going to do butter, but I'm going to leave this on anyway. Just see how hot it gets and just experiment. So let's see what it tells me to do. It says... <sighs> Nobody's mind the buttermilk lid. Da -da -ba -da -da -da. Simply fill the bottom. All right, here we go. Simply fill the bottom of the, of the popper with one layer of kernels. And it says place the microwave on high approximately 2 minutes to 45 seconds. No oil necessary. Awesome. So let's check it out. Okay, here we go. Pull to open. Oh, wow, that's kind of cool. Whoops. Yeah, we're going to need that like that. So let's... All right, let's see. Did I cover the whole bottom yet? No, not yet. Oh, yeah, I guess so. All right, I'm just going to do a little bit. I don't want to overdo it and make this fail and have it be my fault. And this is resealable. I love this little, little bag. So, all right, so it says to do two minutes, 45 seconds. I'll keep it on, and if it looks like it's, it stops popping or anything before that, I'll remove it. But let's get that on there, and we'll bring it back and take a look. Okay, now I'm standing here, and we only have a minute left of the two minutes, 45 seconds. Oh, there it went. First pop. There's a minute left. Well, that better start popping quick because, oh, it is, it's popping. Most of the kernels did not pop. See that? See that? Most of the kernels did not pop. So I'm gonna open this up. They look beautiful, the ones that popped. They look great, but most of them didn't pop. So we're gonna do test number two. Test number two, we're gonna redo it. And this time I'm gonna do more than two minutes and 45 seconds. I'm gonna go more than the instructions. I'm gonna kinda of eyeball it. And when I think most of them have popped, we're gonna pull it out. So let's get it in here. There we go, it's about the same at the bottom there. Get the lid on. And by the way, it's kinda of weird. There must be a lot of moisture in the kernels because there was a lot of water inside on the walls of this thing. So let's get it back in. I'll set the temperature for, I mean, the uh, time for like about five minutes. Can you see all those kernels? This thing, all right, well, I'm not going to say anything. Let's pull the popcorn out. Yeah, I am not a big fan of this. This thing is deemed not worthy, so that is my recommendation. I will uh, give the popcorn a taste right now, but it doesn't do an efficient job. Okay, so I guess you gotta stick with the microwavable bags or whatever. Uh, let me give it a try. It's kind of weird, because like some of them stick together. It's like, I don't know. Look, see? Okay, so let me give it a try and see what it tastes like. <laughs> oh, I'll wait till after the show. Okay, it's just nasty. It's all stale tasting. I don't know what happened. Maybe because I had to cook it so long to get the other ones. Plus, there's no salt, no butter, no nothing. But I've eaten plain popcorn before. This is a little overdone. Um, and I don't understand. I mean, I understand why. Because I had to cook it so long. You can see some of the burn marks on it. Yeah. All right. Well, you can't, you know... It just doesn't work. In the meantime, down in the comments below, tell me how you like to prepare your popcorn. I know somebody who puts yellow mustard in their popcorn and mixes it all in. I know somebody else that puts M&Ms, handful, 
and mix it and get it all chocolatey. I know my son who likes to do the jalapeno seasoning, the salt that they sell in the theaters, he likes to douse that with that. How do you like your popcorn? I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.